was a guy who has said he'll be a dictator on day one. Yeah. Has said he would weaponize the Department of Justice, take away the independence of the Department of Justice, and put his loyalist in. Somebody who has said literally he would use this word. He uses this word. He would terminate the Constitution of the United States. You're going to put a Republican in your yes. uh, in your cabinet. Correct. I love that. Yeah. That's old school. Listen, I know, and I've I've been a decision maker long enough to know that the best decisions I make are when I bring in a variety of perspectives that allow me to consider every angle and to build consensus. That's the best way, as a leader, I believe you make good decisions. I'm guessing it's going to be Liz Cheney who you appoint. Am I correct? I, I got to win, Howard. I got to win. You got to win. Gotta win. You got to win. And listen, but the thing about Liz Cheney, let me just say, she's remarkable. She's smart. She is a dedicated public servant. She has shown extraordinary courage Absolutely. in this moment where there's such violent, divisive language that she would put herself out so publicly and say, I'm country before party. And, you know, she and I don't agree on everything. Because that Supreme Court decision just a few months ago basically said to the former president, you will be immune from anything you do in office. Now, this is a guy who has said he'll be a dictator on day one. Yeah. Has said he would weaponize the Department of Justice, take away the independence of the Department of Justice, and put his loyalist in. Somebody who has said literally he would use this word, he uses this word. It would terminate the Constitution of the United States. You know what the Constitution of the United States does? That's the Fourth Amendment against unreasonable search and seizure. That's the Fifth Amendment, which is your right to remain silent. That's the Sixth Amendment, your right to an attorney. And he's going to terminate the Constitution? Yeah. He hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court to do exactly what they did, take away the right of an individual to make decisions about their own body. Like, I ask people to take a step back. Let's, let's just think about it this way. Let's, whatever your gender, right? and it's not about abortion. You have basically now a system that says you as an individual do not have the right to make a decision about your own body. The government has the right to make that decision for you. So regardless of how you feel about abortion, think about what that means. You know, the, the, the strength of America includes that we have been committed as Americans, as part of our spirit, to the expansion of rights. Right. And for the first time, we're seeing a restriction. I've definitely had death threats. Yeah. Yeah, I don't generally talk about them, but right. yes. Why don't you talk about them? Because you don't want to encourage any kind of nuts out there, or is it because it just is too? It's just too hard to confront. I refuse to live in fear <laughs> of, of of the bad guys. Yeah, <laughs> we actually had laws that were treating people based on their sexual orientation 
differently. So if you're a gay couple, you can't get married. We were basically saying that you are a second-class citizen under the law, not entitled to the same rights as a couple. The court that Donald Trump created that is openly talking about what else could be at risk. And understand, if Donald Trump were to get another term, most of the legal scholars think that there's going to be maybe even two more seats that'll be up. That means, think about it, not for the next four years, for the next 40 years, for the next four generations of your family, what might be a Supreme Court that is about restricting your rights versus expanding your rights. 